for our audience being gut nerds, gut health uh, connoisseurs, if you will, are you seeing candida as something that sort of co-occurs? I, I know assessing and quantifying candida isn't super definitive. There, there's not great diagnostic criteria or normalization across what markers we should order. But thinking about chronic infection, immune system suppression, and that candida is opportunistic in that sort of environment, it makes sense that we would see a, a predilection toward candida overgrowth as opposed to something like SIBO. Uh, any read on this? Since I do treat patients with antibiotics sometimes, I'm definitely really watching out for having secondary issues mm. with yeast. I see a lot of kids with pans pandas also, mm. which, you know, because when we're treating a chronic infection that's triggering an autoimmune disease, a lot of those kids won't eat. Um, they, they have obsessions and compulsions related to food, a lot of food aversions. So mm -hmm. sometimes those kids, one of the best things we can do is cover that base with some sort of, you know, an anti-candidal, whether it's herbal or prescription 